Well, after Tuesday's expletive-filled episode, I have no idea what's going on now. Uh, the board has set the initial wage budget for the coming season at £1.4 million per week and transfer budget at £13.59 million. Welcome to the Celtic save. And then we go to next season transfer budget increased. I asked them to increase the budget. From 13.59 million, even though I'm not going to really spend anything. And instead it showed me, oh, your net season transfer budget actually increased from 6.29 million to 8.9 million. 6.29. Where did 6.3 million go? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> and why have you then only upped it 2.6? Oh my god, and they've rejected, I wanted the transfer budget increase, they're, they're just not doing it, they're not doing it at all, so, welcome to my world. Okay, so, we do have quite a, uh, a big game against Aberdeen today. Carrius is going to be in goal. Kenny Diaz, Rojo and Reese across the back. McTominay and Aya are going to be in midfield. And then we're going to have um, Almada on the right. Macias on the left. With Grigorich and Rodriguez up front. And I'm kind of hoping that if we get stuck in and... We get it to the target man, which we don't have one. So maybe we can perhaps distribute it to the flanks because I think Aberdeen are going to play maybe a three-five-two. Um, and focus play out wide. That should be good enough, I think. I think we'll look pretty good. So we'll submit that team. Ooh, it's a lot of changes. <laughs> Dean Campbell's a good player. Lewis Morgan, don't forget, we sold to uh, Aberdeen, who are managed now by Barry Robson, the former midfield player. Um, they got Josh McGuinness up front. Okay, let's see how they line up. So, we're going with a 4 2 4 again. They have a, yeah, 3-5-2. There you go. And they're playing Jack Hendry in their defence. Is he on loan from us? Or did we sell him? I was going to say, let me just check that out. But we're going straight to highlight. Oh, Rodriguez. Oh, my word. Just did a post within 10 seconds. Right, let's just have a little look. He's contracted to Aberdeen. Loan, loan, and then 500 grand. So, we sold him for half a million. Did I sell him, or was he already gone? <laughs> I'm not sure. I've done that many transfers, I need to uh, go cold turkey, so I know a few of you, you know, laughing at me trying to uh, go full season and uh, not spend any money in the summer now. Uh, we, we do still have some Bosman signings turning up in the summer that we can move on uh, for a bit of a profit because the club did instruct me to sign players to move on for a profit, so that's what I've done. Here's Armada, number 10, shoots wide. Um, but yeah, from this point on, uh, I'm doing zero transfers, which means I'm going to have to, um, in the game, let David Anderson and Mr. Monkey do the academy signing, so I'll have to adjust the, um, the settings a little bit, so they can carry on signing academy players, but I'm not going to sign any first team players or reserve players at all oh 
So all of next season, no new signings. As a caveat to that, because you knew there was one coming, <laughs> I am uh, going to, in the January transfer window, look at um, the six-month um, uh, players who are out of contract at six months. So I'm going to just try and work with Bosman signings and try and sign players up in January. Jonathan Rodriguez chasing that. He should be able to put that back in. There's Diaz to Aya. Across to Matt Tomine. Back out wide to Kenny. John Joe Kenny. Played it in and it's out again. It's Christopher Aya. Matt Tomine. Both of them are like 6-4, I think, in midfield. Kenny crosses. Oh, poor finish by Amara. And both good tacklers. So, Matt Tomine and Aya, I think they could be the centre midfield partnership. And I wouldn't want to play against them two in midfield, because they're going to graft all day long. Big, strong lads that will tackle. Oh, penalty. Rodriguez got pushed. Almada will take it. Come on, Thiago. Make it 1-0. Oh, sends the keeper the wrong way. by Joe Lewis. What a good goal. 14 goals for the season from Thiago Almada playing on the right today. And he has improved as well. I looked at his stats earlier. So, as we come up to half time. Alton clears it as far as Kenny. Almara tries to swing one in the defender. I thought he forced the keeper to make a save there, but the same goal kick. Let's just have a little look at Almara because he has improved. So we know his technique, passing, and um, agility and flair was 16. And his penalty taking was 17. But um, his first touch has gone to 15. Dribbling's up to 16. Corner's up to 13. Uh, vision up to 17, stamina up to 14, so it looks like the Wonder Kid is progressing, he's only 20 year old, he's got a couple of caps now and he's worth 14 million so he's improving. Oh, John Joe Kenny smashes one home, rifles it, 2-0, just before half time. We actually really needed that. Uh, I asked YouTube to have a look at the channel as well. And uh, we had 1,478 subscribers when I asked. Uh, we've now got uh, 1,463 uh, seems like they've took 15 subscribers away. So it might be bot accounts, it might be um, old accounts or dead accounts. Uh, but if you can make sure you're subscribed, that would be brilliant, thanks. And uh, try to hit notification bell, you know. Uh, keeping, you know, keeping regular contact with us. Oh God, that was bad. Brian Keady, that was bad advice, man. The media have given you a lot of credit today. Go out there and put on a worthy display. Bro, you demotivated them all. Brian Keady, what are you doing, bro? Son. Mate, I'm going to have to step in here. Shout. Praise the entire team. There you go. They're all happy faces. Look at those green happy faces now. Those very simplistic emojis. <laughs> so, they're still continuing with the 3-5-2. Uh, Brian, <laughs> he's also praised him again now. Good lad, Brian. Good lad. Is Macias over the top for Rodriguez. Those two link up well. Rodriguez brings a save from Lewis. He's a good keeper, Lewis. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think these lads as well, some of them are going from like 21 year old to 22. And it's going to be a struggle to pick a European um, selection because of it. Because, you know, we need more players trained at the club for three years and we need more Scottish players. So it might be an idea just to focus on um, allowing these players to stay and maybe trying to find some Scottish wonder kids. So I think I'll get the scouts to um, keep looking for the Scottish wonder kids and we'll see, see if they can find anyone. I wonder if there's like a Croatian Josip Bilic like there was before. Bilic was an absolute diamond. Is John Joe Kenny to Aya? Come on, Kenny. What have you got? Oh, Rodriguez at the post. Williams clears it. Ryan McLaughlin. Is that the Rochdale player? I think it is, you know. I think they've signed Ryan McLaughlin from Rochdale. Right, right wing back. No doubt he'll get injured in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Lewis releases that really quickly. Lewis Morgan's complaining about a push. Um, oh, no, he was the one doing the pushing. There you go. We've not made any subs yet, have we? McTominay's looking a little tired, though. Um, let's get Canner on. And... Let's get Greg Taylor on. Let's get Lozak on. Just for the last 10 minutes. Mix it up a little bit. Bit of pace down at left hand side. Give Ryan McLaughlin something to think about. They've had six bookings. We've had 62% of the possession today. 28 shots, 15 on target. 3.28 xg which is expected goals so i think we're expected to get three today um not done that <laughs> so easy easy right outstretched arms well done lads good win boom there you go that's how we do brian that's how we do let's see where we are in the league we obviously top but i think we have drawn a couple but other than that we've won more or less everything so, I think we've won 26, drawn 2. Um, so, after 28 games, we got plus 57 goal difference, 80 points on the board, 23 clear Rangers. I do want a proper look at this league. Um, because if we've done absolute bits in the league... Then we could probably save our first team players for the European games. Which would be almighty good. But I have this thing that I like to try and go unbeaten throughout the season. Because I've only ever done it once. <laughs> so. There we go. Let's have a little look. Yeah, 126, drawn to, lost zero. There you go. I've already qualified for the Champions Cup. Um, there's a 37 games in this league. So there's another nine games left to play. As we're eight, 28 points clear of St. Johnston, they can't catch us. So we are in the Champions League at least. Right, I think what we're going to do is start playing some of the younger players. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. Kenny on form. Uh, let's see. There you go, keep driving forward, mate. Encourage him to get forward. Rico Richards, young attacking midfielder, I think we got from Wolves for a bargain, 
Whoa. He's improved while he's been on loan at St. Johnston. Wow, passing 17, first touch 17, finishing 16. Stamina 17, they've all improved. Bloody hell, technique's up to 14. 6 foot 4 he is. Uh, described as a shadow striker. Heading 12, that's up. Jumping reach 15, so... Looks like uh, Long Spell's still doing him well. Uh, Callum Flatman, one of our academy players. He's doing alright, Dunfermline. Good job. Okay. Why is Lozette considering his future? I think he's had plenty of game time. He's had 15 starts, 3 sub appearances. He's got 11 goals, 5 assists. Bloody hell. Um, 9 XG. 2 out of 2 penalties he scored. 4 player of match awards. I mean, described as a wonder kid. He's gone from being worth 6 million to 13 and a quarter million. Discuss a new trait. Um, let's see. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, stick to the centre of pitch when dribbling. Suits an athletic player like him. Okay. So runs through the centre. Uh, crossing he's not improved on at all. Um, but I'm going to praise his training because he's trained well. Right, he's very happy so his morale's gone up a little bit. Right, let's get to... Uh, let's get to speaking to him. Discuss promise with Ho Lozak. I'm gonna have to back down to keep him, uh, keep him happy, keep him sweet. So he's chuffed apparently. Okay, guys. So this is the Atletico Bilbao game. Uh, we're gonna play Carius, Kenny, Bay, Rojo, and Reese. With Vera and Rodriguez in midfield, Almada and Macias on the wings, and Gregorich and Rodriguez up front. Ooh, Marshall on the bench. Robertson, Taylor, Diaz, Dembele, Roberts and King. Uh, they got Nico Serrano, who's a good young left winger on the bench. And okay, Williams, who I think is a, a Spanish-American... Um, striker is very quick. Um, Ike Munian, who I really like, you know, watched him for about 10 years now. Uh, he's a good player. He's nearly 30 now, I think. Um, and also Inigo Martinez, um, who is a good, strong centre back. So they're a good team. They're going to line up with a 4-2-3-1 with Minean, who is normally a right winger in midfield. That's interesting. So, let's see how we do against this lot. How the hell have we just had three bookings in two minutes? <laughs> By Vera and Beringer for them. Oh boy. It's going to be one of those games. Carrius lumps it forward. Good control by Almada. Takes him on. Oh! Yurai gets rid of that. I thought Grigorich was going to get on the end of it. Unai Lopez leads a counter-attack for Bilbao. Oh no. Williams, what a great save by Carrius. Welcome to the first opening minutes of the game. Minayan. Oh, it's out by Grigorich. Williams will retrieve that and send it back to his keeper. We'll press the keeper. I'm just going to praise the entire team. Try and get them a bit more confident. Why are they all sad? I just praised you. Why are you all sad? Do you want me to berate you? Oh my god. Unai Simon's a good goalkeeper as well. 
Um, let's see, Corba. Pliny Williams. Oh. 25th goal a season for him. God damn. I think if we're to do... Why is he praising them? Why are you praising them? Praising them? Brian, they're all sad again. Stop praising them, mate. Stop it. Um, if anyone does know how to stop the assistant from doing shouts, please let me know. Um, <laughs> it's getting annoying. Right. Let's demand more from them. There you go. Vera and Reese like that. As did Macias and Rodriguez, so... Maybe demanding more from them is what we need to do. Nicky Williams is a very good striker. And I have a transfer ban, so I'm not going to sign him. <laughs> <laughs> One thing... Oh, Sanket. Good save by Carriers. One thing I'm a little bit annoyed at is I'd built up like 60 million quid in transfer funds. By selling players, 58 million or something like that. And the board took it all off me and said, no, you're having 13 million. Then I asked them for more money, obviously. And then they come back and say, oh, we're going to raise it from 6 million to 8 million. Or 9 million, whatever it were. I'm like, hang on a second. I had 13 million a minute ago. Now you're telling me I had half of that? Gits. <laughs> something dodgy going on at boardroom level in this game, honestly. Very, very dodgy. Come on, boys. We could do this. Demand more from the entire team again. Right. Ball's headed out. Thiago Amada picks it up. Leading the counter. Is that Gregorich with him? Or Rodriguez? Oh, I'm mad. Why'd you go up? Oh, you're going back to FM20 where you're just greedy and you don't pass. Come on, man. 52% of possession we've had. Gorich wins that for Kenny. His cross is blocked. Raul Garcia tries to win a throw in the cart, so plays it down the line. Cordoba will pick it up and come forward. Oh, Bay with a good tackle. Get stuck in, lad. Oh, Reese with another good tackle. Vera closing down Sanket, which is good. Nunes coming forward. Macias has just realised he's supposed to do some defending work. But he doesn't want to. Berengier, the left back for them. Gives it to Munean. Come on, lads. One of them's got to be offside there. One of them has to be offside. There's about four of them. Absolutely disallowed. Take your pick. Alright, I'm going to get to half time and I'm going to make sure we press the full backs. I think what I might also do. Um. Pump fist. Right. Go and get revenge. There we go. And that's the team talk. Tactics. Go to opposition. Ask assistant. Right, I think... Let's mark Williams because obviously he's pretty good. Should have been marking him from the beginning. Let's close down their midfielders. And I want to, and this sounds daft, but man mark their full backs. Because I want my wingers to start closing them down. And just getting stuck in because I think that is where we'll get some joy. Let's just close them down all over the pitch. There you go. Right. It's going to be a lot of hard work for the lads, but let's get them to get stuck in. Let's 
go back to tactics. Where are we? Out of possession. Let's go for target man now. Let's let's get a little bit more attacking in possession. High tempo, definitely. Um, whip the crosses in. Right, I think we're good. Let's see if that can bring us back. We need. I see they won two one at their place. If we win two one at our place, that's cancelled it out. So we need two goals. To go into extra time. Ideally we get three. Carrius with a big kick forward. Almada heads it on Rodriguez. Oh. God I thought we had one then straight away. Right corner lads come on. Ooh. Raul Garcia heads it away. I thought we had a player going in then. Giving it some. There's Gregorich. Oh, you know, Simon makes a save. Let's fire up the entire team, maybe. Let's try that. Yeah, that's worked a little bit. Here's Macias now. Coming away with it. We've got man to the left. It's Rodriguez. Oh, Simon makes a save again. I thought I was in the new nice Simon. That's unlucky. We should have had... Gregorich heads that one over. We should have had a goal by now. That was really unlucky. Come on, boys. Eric Bailly's not playing well. Um, Rodriguez, no. Penalty ref, maybe. Are we going to get a pen penalty? Yes. Is it Almada? It is. Oh, get in. 2-1. 1-1, one. Uh, one, one, sorry. 3-2 on aggregate. So, we need another one. We need another one to take it to extra time. Oh. I think I'm going to bring on... Um, Paolo Diaz in midfield for Vera. He's not looking fit, he's been booked, and he's unhappy, so. Um, God. Come on, boys. It's Grigorich to Diaz. It's coming forward. Fresh legs. Puts one in. Rodriguez. Oh, Simon with the save. Let's get Patrick Roberts going through the middle there. There's not very much I can do. Come on, lads. No. Come on. Get it in. One last effort, Almada. Put it in. 
Come on. Yeah, oh, he's at the crossbar. Jonathan Rodriguez. Oh, that's the last chance. Literally the last touch of the ball. Heads it onto the crossbar. We go out 3-2 on aggregate. Oh, God. Wow. I'm going to go with unlucky boys, but I want to throw water bottles and shout at them. I'll be honest with you. I just had a sneaky little feeling then we were going to get a last-minute goal as well, and it's the hope that kills you. Never mind. Um, looks like Arsenal beat Juventus 3-2 on aggregate. Okay. And we got beat 3-2 on aggregate by um, Bill Bow. Declan Glass looks prospect. Is he Stephen Glass's son? Declan Glass. If he is, can you let me know in the comments? Um, because I remember Stephen Glass being like a left winger. Or is that my mind playing tricks on me? I think we've already offered a contract to those two. Danny Wilson, young winger. And Richard Leslie... Another winger. Yeah, we've offered a contract to him. And we have offered a contract to him as well, so we're good. So we're 8.68 million for European Champions Cup first knockout round. And Unai Simon, who is very, very impressive, unfortunately for us. You're right. Unai Simon is the top keeper. He is a really, really good goalkeeper. Look at four stars. I mean, he's only got five caps because David De Gea and Ike Casillas were ahead of him. And now he's got Kepa there as well. So, pretty tough position to be a Spanish goalkeeper these days. So, anyway, um, that says I'm going to come back uh, for the next one because, let's see, we have five more games before um, the league splits. we got a semi-final with Dunfermline, so I'll bring you back around April time and we'll be able to see who we're going to play. So I'll get these three games out of the way. St. Johnston, Kilmarnock and Dundee. And I will see you all in the next one tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Hope you have a good day. Remember, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, there's also a notification bell there as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself. Have a good one.